Reeves has scored a magnificent goal. Magnificent. It was a rebound, then. A rebound? What, off the tripod? <laughs> yeah. Luck. Pure luck. <laughs> Wasn't luck at all. Just ignore him, Vinny. Jazz has always been a touch economical with the truth. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you say you are a mentitori, you are a liar. Oh, so, so I'm a liar, am I? So name one time I've told a lie. <laughs> so you can't even name one time. Calculatori, please, Vinny Gento. Thank you, grazie. Right. Mm. Uh, what are you doing? What are you on about? Right, uh, I make it 122. Right, well, I've got 136. What are you doing? Nah, niente. <laughs> A hundred and forty-two and a half. Well, where do you get the half from? Liverpool scouts, do you remember? Oh, yeah, when he said that the Liverpool scouts come to watch him play. <laughs> <laughs> and they were Cub scouts from Liverpool. You <laughs> see? Oh, man, I know what this is about. So you don't believe that I've got tickets for Man U Liverpool, do you? Oh, yeah. see, oh, yeah. see, yeah. And uh, Juventus, they want to buy me for 10 million million lira. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to be presenting match of the day. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm going to win a Nobel Prize for my literature. Mm, reckon. Mm. with Vinnie Rodriguez is about Jason Summerby, a player who's famous for not quite telling the truth. And questions will have to be asked, does Jason Summerby have the tickets? And if he does have the tickets, who will he take to the match? Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. If thou will not be my love, I will no longer be a captain. Oh, hold it. Now listen, babe, you've got to give it more... More passion. Oi, you, Stan Aslavsky. Stan, who do you? I'm talking to you, Eddie. Would you stop playing director and do some work? Yeah, 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 in a minute, in a minute. Listen, this here, Romeo, is your latest flame. My latest flame? Yeah. Is that him? Yeah, he gives you fever, right? Fever? Listen, Romeo saw Juliet, thought that she was dead. Romeo said, Julie, baby, you could have listened to what I said. I burn with fever. Fever, when I'm near but, 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 you. Uh, Shakespeare didn't write that. Well, of course he didn't. What did that Shakespeare guy know about writing poetry? That is straight from the king's lips. Oh, oh I see. Right. But Eddie has got a point. Juliet is consumed by her love for Romeo. That's exactly why I don't like her. This Juliet, she's a wimp. Oh, oh, steady on, young lady. Now, you carry on like that, and your school play is going to be El Floppo Grande. Precisely. How can you say that, Rob? Juliet's a symbol. A very old symbol. She should have just taken over, gone off with the guy, told her parents to get lost. Instead, instead she just stands up on her balcony, oh, fussing. The rejects' training schedule has been disrupted by absences. Vinnie Rodriguez has this report. The rejects' training sessions have been disturbed by absence, but it's hard to see how the rejects can prepare for the next four matches. The next four matches they need to win to avoid relegation. Oh, if we carry on like this, we'll soon be the first three-a-side team in the world. Yeah, if we run it. This is serious, Rob. Hey, it's only until Romeo and Juliet to finish, no? Yeah, but they've already been rehearsing for a month. Yeah, but the time of finish, we'll be in the second division. Oi, even Jazz, he's absente, no? All right, wise guys. Have some of that then, son. Uh-uh, no touching. <laughs> he was right. It's true. To die for. Hmm. April 25th. Man U versus Liverpool. Yeah, that's right. Manchester United versus Liverpool. And who said I was a liar? Liar? <laughs> who said you're a liar? Tell me who it was, Jazz, and I'll break his legs. Yeah, to a mandatory you? Never. 
Just kidding, Jazz. Yeah, we didn't mean it, man. It was all in jest. <laughs> so, um, who is actually free the day the, of the match? I'm free that day. So am I. Oh, me? I do niente. Mm. Oh, we could do some commentary at Old Trafford, Jazz. Yeah, well, I'd have to see you when I... Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Uh, a summer's day? My bounty is as boundless as a sea. My love is deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have for both are infinite. Uh, yeah. What exactly does infinite mean again? Endless, eternal. It means forever, Jason. For... forever? This bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a ripening flower when next we meet. When exactly shall we meet? Soon. Very soon. Well, just name a day. Well... Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday sounds, sounds great. But if thou meanest not well, I do beseech thee to cease thy strife and leave me to my grief. Grief? I, I know what, I'll give you no grief. Just name a time and a place and I'll be there. Wednesday, five o'clock, here. Bye. But Rob... Jess. Jess, wake up. All right. <laughs> Jess, I've got a tape. Tape? What tape? You know, the tape you wanted, you know? The tape of your greatest goals. My greatest goals? I only scored three. Yeah, I know, but I mean, what great goals they were. And I've got them, like, from different angles and in slow motion. Cool. So, talk me through it. You all right? Well, it's, it's really a tap-in now, isn't it? A tap-in? But, but what a great tap-in it was. I mean, it shows your true goal-scoring instinct. Does it? Of course it does. I mean, like all great strikers, you were in the right place at the right time. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a goal. I mean, you, you really want me to uh, talk through it, yeah? Sure. As much as you like. Yeah, well, well as you said, uh, it's my goal-scoring instinct, isn't it? Look at my positioning there. Oh, perfect. Well, that is a trick, isn't it, Vin? Uh, making the impossible look easy. See, look at the two defenders. They are what you might call ball watching, but not me. <laughs> See, I am uh, being what you might call uh, a, a predator. Yeah, that, that is right, a predator, Vin. See, uh, uh, as you pointed out earlier, it's been on the right spot at the right time. See, uh, it's an instinct that very few strikers have. <laughs> yeah, very few. That is why uh, so many Premiership clubs are after me in a minute. Right, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to go now, so I was just wondering where we're on for, like, Wednesday's match. Wednesday's match? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, no worries. <laughs> yes! It's official. Man United Liverpool, live and exclusive only on Sports View. <laughs> Don't miss it. Yes! Too much football drives a man insane. Like you're in need of a transport, eh? <laughs> Guy like me should have a roller. Roller skates? Rolls Royce, Bruno. Oh, Rolls Royce. <laughs> you don't want a Rolls Royce. You want a Super Coroneta, see? <laughs> yeah. You what? A Super Coroneta! The best bike in the world. The queen of the racing bikes. <laughs> really? See, you know. All the great Italiano champions, they all have one, you know? You should have one. <laughs> Try telling me, Mum. Oh, Prendela! Here. Take mine. For a whole week. Go on. Ready for, for a whole week? See? A whole week. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, Bruno. Yeah. So, uh, you know who your friends are, eh? Yeah. Your real mate. Yeah. Uh, we have a saying in Italy, you know? Mi amico sempre. Mm. A friend is forever, you know. Yeah, thanks, Bruno. I'll see you later, yeah? yeah. Uh, oi, the uh, football. Wednesday. You, me, yeah? Yeah, Wednesday, I'll 
Oopsie there. Oopsie <laughs> Major event in the history of shopping. A small step for Ronnie Supra. But a mega step for mankind. Whoa. Nice gear. Nice? This is grade A authentic Hugo. This ain't nice. This is a classic. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Check it out, man. We're talking art here. And you can wear it. Any time you want. Me? Yeah. Really? But it, it must have cost you a bundle, Ron, eh? Well, like the great Mahatma Gandhi used to say, money is no object where friendship is concerned. Yeah, well, Gandhi wasn't much of a fashion victim, was he? Well, I suppose he was a minimalist. Simple, but effective. But anyway, you can borrow it now if you want. Now. What do you reckon, then, hey? Ace! <laughs> you could just chill out in it. Or you could wear it to the football. F football? Wednesday's match, yeah. Yeah. Man U versus Liverpool. We're going to the match, aren't we? Yeah, sh sure, sure we are. See you Wednesday, then. Yeah, we'll see you there, Ron. Jason, leader of the Argonauts, the midfield maverick in search of the Golden Fleece. Searching for that telling cross, the thrusting pass, the lofty lob. They once called you a reject. Little did they know you will become our heart, our mind, our soul, our engine, our guide. Leading these roaming rejects, these aimless Argonauts, to the promised land. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, well... Do you like it? Yeah, I, I like it. it. It's it's just the... Well, what's wrong? Well, there's this bit I don't understand. Oh, what bit? Astronauts. <laughs> Why am I the leader of the astronauts? Astronauts. Argonauts! You know, Jason and the Argonauts, get it? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, it's, um... Don't get me wrong, I mean, it's a wicked poem. You like it? Yeah. You really do like it? Oh, I called it... Ode to the Midfield Maestro. <laughs> there is another bit, though. What's wrong now? Well, I just... You don't mention any of my goals. Well, Jazz, I wasn't going into specifics. You see... It's a poetic description of your leadership qualities. Yeah, well, the rest of it's solid anyway. Oh, a bit, a bit understated, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, but solid, mate, solid. I mean, no one's ever written me a poem before. Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, I know, Jazz. Yeah, what? Well, Ab about the um, Liverpool Man U match. Yeah, well, about it. Uh, we're still on for Wednesday, right? Of course we are. Julie has downed her love potion number nine, and we all think she's a goner. What? 
Yeah, and Romeo here, he's a whole mess of blues. A, a, a mess of blues? Yeah, 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 because he thinks his chick has deep-sixed herself. Deep-sixed? I'm sorry, Look, look, I... look, look. You think she's gone to the big Graceland in the sky, so you're all shook up, OK? But, but... OK, Romeo, take it away. Right. OK. Why art thou yet so fair? Shall I believe that unsubstantial death is amorous, and that the lean, abhorred monster keeps thee here in darkness to be his paramour? Oh. Steady on, Rob. I haven't taken my poison yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just, uh, hold your horses, young lady. Romeo's still gonna give you lots of lip. No, I've had it. What's wrong? The whole story's wrong. Wrong? This here is a killer thriller. Yes, Rob, this is Romeo and Juliet. It, it's Shakespeare. It's rubbish! We should have just run off in the first scene instead of going through all this, this nonsense. Nonsense? Oh, wake up, Stuart. I'm playing a girl who's surrounded by mums, dads and nurses who's pretending to be dead. It's pathetic. I don't know. I think it's rather romantic. Oh, me too. I mean, it makes me go all kind of weak in the knees. Well, you would, wouldn't you? You both live in the past. Rob, it's not about the past or the present. Love is an eternal theme. Oh, yeah, and that is straight... Straight from the king's lips, I know. Look. Love may be eternal, but this Juliet, she's prehistoric. <sighs> I'm not doing it. Well, why not? Because you get to do all the fun bits, that's why. You get to do all the fighting and seducing and... And me? I just get to wait for you in a coffin. <laughs> well, that's the way it was meant to be. Oh, without question. I mean, it's all laid out here in the big blueprint. Oh, yeah? Well, not anymore. And Summerby scores again. How does he do it? <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, where from, Romeo? Hi, oh, Rob. Wow, you look, you look great. Yeah, but it's a special occasion, isn't it? Yeah. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temper. Temporary. Oh, come on, Jazz. We'll be late. Late? For what? The game. It starts in two hours. Come on. Oh, oh the game. The, the game? game? You are not taking her, Jazz. Well, no, you I... said that you were going to take me. Well, you, but it was my ticket. And no way, Jose. Promise me. Uh, no, Vero. It's not true. You <laughs> promised to me. Uh, guys, <laughs> he's taking me, all right? Right. You are. You're taking me. Yeah. You no, promised no, me. You're taking me. I don't think so. You're taking me. You're taking me. You're taking me. You're I just can't help believing you could do with some more jailhouse fries, Jason. Well, any more where that came from? Would you hurry it up, Eddie? We'd be late for the kick-off. Be right with you, dear. Now, listen, the kitchen's open. Anything you need, you just help yourself, pal, OK? In the meantime, sayonara, which is Japanese for... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Would you like some chips? All right, so he gave me all this free food. That's not why I did it, was it? Oh, no? No, it's because his missus wanted an evening out. So I just gave him the tickets, that's all. Didn't try to bribe me like you lot. Oh, what, so now it's our fault, is it? Of course it is. I mean, first nobody wants to talk to me because I'm a liar. Then because I've got the tickets, I'm Mr Popular. And then you lied to us again? Yeah, man, red card of friends. See, you promised to each one, huh? No, I didn't promise you nothing. I didn't ask for anything either. Did I ask you for this jacket one? No, not exactly, but you still... No, and did I ask you for the bike? Or the video, or the poem? What a world, what a world and I didn't ask you to play Cleopatra, did I? Um, it's Juliet, you know, as in Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, whatever. You thought I was going to get really impressed and take you to the game, didn't you? Well, you were impressed, weren't you? I weren't. I can't believe you lot. I could see right through you. You were well out of order. He's right, you know. We were well out of order. Jazz. La bicicletta. You can keep the bike for as long as you want, huh? And the tape? It's yours. Yeah, about the poem, Jazz. I really meant it, you know? Won't be needing a jacket for a while, Jeff. So. Yeah. You lot are good mates. Yeah, giving the tickets to Eddie and Priscilla was the right thing to do. They deserved a night out. And just you deserve an apology. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. 
Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. It's just, you know, when your mates say that you're a liar, well, well, it hurts, doesn't it? It won't happen again, Jazz. May never again. Offside. We were well offside. Yeah, well, I just reckon you should value friendship a bit more, do you know what I mean? Hey, I've got a saying, this one from Napoli. Si e mi compari. Compatriots, eh? Yeah, you're absolutely right. See, we forget that friendship is paramount. Why? Right. And it's also very important. So good mates are hard to find, don't they? When you hurt them, mate, well... He's right. We hurt them big time. Yeah, well, I reckon you should have just thought about it a bit more. You know, use your heads. See, I'll tell you what, well... Well, well I'll, I'll tell you some other time, yeah? I'll, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Freeze! Eddie, what's wrong? He is the devil in disguise. Don't let him get away, Eddie. What's the problem? No oh, problem. No problem. It was Man United Liverpool, all right. Oh, don't tell me wrong, Dad. Oh, no, 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 the day was OK. So? So we were the only spectators. The only? It was Man U Liverpool reserves. Eh? What? what? And they can pay for all that food, Eddie. My poem. My tight. My jacket. My I am no pilot. Yet wert thou as far as the vast shore, washed by the furthest sea, I should adventure for such merchandise. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face, lest the maiden blush be paint my cheek. Oh, I can't do this. It's wrong. Oh, what is it now? Well, it's not right, is it? Chaps playing girls. Oh, come on. You can't be a football hero all the time. What are the other guys going to say? They'll say... They'll say... That you need to get in touch with your feminine side? My feminine side. Oh, come on, it'll do you good. Oh, swear not by the moon. Oh, swear not by the moon. The inconsistent moon that monthly changes in its cycled orb. You see, you're getting into it now. Well, do you think so? Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Though I have much joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract. It is too fast, too rash, too unadvised, too like the lightning which doth cease to be. Hello and welcome to the match, the Rentford Rejects versus Mr. Patel's Paperboys. There's five minutes remaining till half time, but at the moment this game's got nil nil written all over it. Still no score here at Rentford Stadium. Ben! 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 No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Robin! Bruno! Ronnie! Ball! Now! Come on! I'm open! Me! Give me the ball! It seems that Jason Summerby has been ignored by his other teammates. There must be some tactical reason behind this. Now we all know what Jason's done, but we can't ignore him all the time. Gaffer, they won't give me the ball, will they? I mean, what? And you're surprised? Well, of course I am. If you'd have given me the ball, I'd have scored a hat trick by now. A hat trick? Oh yeah, mm. very likely. Hmm, hat trick, indeed. Hat trick at least. I mean, oh come on, guys. Would I ever lie to you, lot? Right, that's it. Get him. No. 